What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So uh, this week we're going to take a look at a plugin that lets you take your model and slice it up into pieces, uh, allowing you to create cool new uh, modeling options, as well as allowing you to export those slices to like a CNC router, so you can actually make these models in real life. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So plugin name, Slicer, plugin developer, TIG. How much does it cost? It's free. Please remember to donate to your developer. Where do you get it? This extension can be downloaded from the Sketchcation store. I've also linked to it in the notes below. Tool functions. This extension allows you to take any solid object and slice it up into pieces. Please note that this will only work with solids, so if there are any holes in your model, this will not work. The way it works is it takes a group of geometry and allows you to select the axes you'd like to sl slice it along, along with the spacing and thickness of your slices. The way this extension works is it takes your model and allows you to select the axes that you'd like to slice it along, as well as setting the thickness of your slices and the spacing between your slices. Slicer allows you to slice a model along the X, Y, and Z axes, along with custom axes. It also allows combinations of those options. Not only can you slice your model, but if you select the flatten object op option, Slicer will actually lay out all the different pieces it creates as components. These pieces can actually be exported to a CNC router if you wanted to create your objects in real life. One thing to note is when you are creating your slices, your model can get a little unstable, so just make sure to save a copy before running Slicer. So that's where we're going to wrap up this plugin overview. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Do you have some good ideas for how to use this? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys, so I'd love to hear what you think. Um, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below if you're new around here remember to click that subscribe button for new sketchup content every week if you like what i'm doing on this channel please consider supporting me on patreon every little bit helps even if it's only a dollar a month that just helps me keep bringing you great sketchup content but in any case thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and i will catch you in the next video thanks guys